What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Wednesday. Been busy uh, playing with the Discord whole piece on to We now have over 4,000 eBay blocked IDs on to it, thankfully. Uh, somebody out there had a bigger list than me. So we compiled them. Over 4,000 <laughs> blocked eBay IDs. That is insane. Well, anyhow, as uh, I was working on all that stuff, everybody knows... I'm huge Topps Defendive. I love the product. Always have since it came out. Well, I had to do a little bit of holding back because I was like, oh, do I really want to get in breaks or do I want to buy a case or what this year? And I'm kind of glad I pulled away from it this one year. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably already seen this, but it's insane when you see it. I I'm still in shock over this. This picture has been blown up on Twitter. Reddit. I'm sure YouTube videos have already come out here with it and everything today. Um, I'm just finally getting a chance to actually post onto it because I had a, a bunch of different stuff that was sent to me by everybody across the board. So thank you, thank you very much. Let's get the news out onto this. And then I'll post this video into the news section on Discord. And you guys can... Uh, Feel free to comment on there or if you guys get more information. That way we can keep stuff kind of updated on to it, you know. All right. There we go. So as you guys can see, this is a dual auto, dual relic, Airs Arena and Austin Meadows. When you look at this, numbered 1 out of 35. Don't the autographs look similar in writing in a way? So, many, many guesses, theories were done on this card. One being this was the uh, promo example card and somehow slipped into Topps Definitive this year. Then you had people saying maybe Randy and Austin were having fun, had their kid autograph both their names, or one did the other. All kind of stuff came out onto this. Well, lo and behold, a little bit later... This pops up on Twitter. Number 19 of 35. Look pretty much the same, don't they? It, you know, from what I know, because Austin Meadows was a pirate, that does not look like his autograph. Not saying autographs don't change over time and such like that there. But, I mean, a lot of people are questioning, who was this Topps representative that watched these two both autograph these cards? Is this some kind of joke, you know, people are claiming out there that, you know, Topps was disgruntled and got sold out fanatics and one of the employees did this? All kind of crazy stuff out there. I'm telling you, I've read it all today from what, it, what, what the reason is behind it. You know, people are saying, send it to PSA and have them authenticate the autographs. That'd be the best. Ooh, that, wouldn't that be funny putting like either PSA or Beckett on the spot? Is this really their autograph or not? So let's talk about their autographs. Where are we hiding? There we go. There's Airs Arena. Now, if you ever go on the boards and everything, everybody's all saying Airs Arena has a little face thing on to it. I know I can't show it, but if you look at his, like the very first part of it all, it looks like he draws like a little face onto his autograph there. Kind of funny, you know? Some people called it a little Pokemon character. I can't remember what it name was and everything. But, those definitely don't look similar at all. Especially when you look at the Z. The B, you know, before the Randy and stuff like that there. There's been plenty of other uh, pictures of his autograph too floating around. This is just one that I've got emailed out of various. But kind of odd that, you know, it's a little bit different. They don't look the same. Now, I got it. Number 1 out of 35 and 19 out of 35 do kind of look similar in a way. But if to me, when I'm looking at this, um, you mean the Meadows, he kind of went on to almost the patch onto it. I mean, what's going on, Austin, if that was really you? Or, you know, how people said Luca's mom that we had the anniversary today. I think it's today of Dax Auto Pen. All kind of stuff floating out there onto this. So, there's Ares Arena's autograph. I'm going to pull him down real quick. Here's Austin Meadows, and this is out of a recent one. Not even close. I'm just in shock by this. 
I have not seen anything come out from Tops or Fanatics onto this yet. Because there's no way both guys changed their autographs that much. Here, I'll pull up uh, Randy, too. We'll kind of do something like this here. There we go. So, I mean, what's everybody's thoughts? Have you guys seen this yet? I mean, like I said, I'm a huge definitive guy. Everybody will tell you that knows me. I love definitive. I love diamond icons. I'm a big dynasty person because... This stuff's just hard, hard hits. I mean, even uh, Luminaries, I'm, it's up there. It's probably my number four for tops. Big stuff to pull. But this here just really had me thankful that I didn't buy any. Because you know what my luck would have been, everybody? I would have pulled this card. I would have pulled it. And then I'd have been sitting there going, oh my gosh. I mean, there's people out there saying, why bother getting, top, getting in touch with tops? I'd get in touch with a lawyer. I mean... If you go to the Reddit post that was made, blowout forums, all these places, oh my, the things that are being said. But by me looking at this, I mean, how can you justify that those are actually their real autos? Um, like I said, I they look similar in how they wrote it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to be quite curious to hear how, you know, this was done, you know, offhand. And if it was somehow something that went on with a top disgruntled employee or whatever it may be out there, I mean, seriously, I mean, they picked, you know, somebody that might not get seen right away. I mean, it's not like it's Mike Trout and Shohei Otani onto an auto or anything, but it just brings a lot into question out there. Me, I, I, I would say my opinion is that's not their autos in the car, just from what I've seen. And like I said, I just kind of had an idea what Austin Meadows looked like because, again, he was a former Pirate. And as soon as we get rid of a Pirate player, it's in his young prime. He always succeeds elsewhere. But it, it doesn't even look close. Hmm. All right, guys. Again, let me know what you guys think. The other thing I just want you guys to look at, see this Z here? On the right-hand side, in Arizona, look how it comes down. I can't really show it because you guys can't see my mouse. But if you come down, it comes down. It loops from the back side. Look at Arizona on this card. It loops on the front side, it looks like. So that's where my question really is because they kind of look different just by that loop. I mean, if you're a player sign your name over and over again, why would you change your loop right there? It's it just what it looks like to me offhand. I mean, I don't think somebody's trying to pull the funny out there just because of, uh, you know, like a good Photoshop or something on there just because of where the autos go across, to, especially the meadows. But really funny to see this out there. I'm curious what everybody else's thoughts are on to this. I'm sure we will hear more about this in the near future. Again, uh, I'll post this onto Discord here in a little bit. And... You guys can, uh, if you guys get like information on follow ups onto it and I haven't talked about it, go on Discord and post it for me, links or whatever. That way I can catch it. It'll be a little bit easier uh, using Discord just for stuff like this here, uh, keeping updates because I'll definitely get the notices. Things won't go to my spam email. And I'm like, you sent me an email? Where? Oh man, I emptied out my spam like a week ago. Dang it, I must have missed it. You know, stuff like that there. But, all right, everybody, take care. Have a good one. Catch you guys next video.